what is up YouTube and welcome to another crypto excursion if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more and in this one the video you have all been waiting for the Nissan 350z car review I'll be going over a couple of important factors for anybody that's considering to buy the Nissan 350z which is in the realm of a sport coupe we're headed to the mountains we will be parking up halfway up in the mountain and taking crypto for a good old run on the longboard and i know i know the moment you guys have all been waiting for zero to 100 here we go out there this is the 2007 model so it does redline at 1000 rpms higher than the previous models this engine is known as the hr engine who should buy the nissan 350z anybody looking for a reliable car nissan is a great brand it can be really cheap to fix and maintain if you're looking for a sporty look the nissan 350z's coupe appearance is very appealing to most hey the infinity g35 is built in the exact same parts as the nissan 350z if you're looking for an exhaust for a nissan 350z you can always just look for the exhaust on a g35 since they have the same setup if you're looking to join the car scene the nissan 350z is a nice option for you this thing has a lot of body kits and a lot of aesthetics taking it away from the stock look. I purchased this car around two years ago. I did use this car to go back and forth to my school as well as work. If you drive for more than four hours, the seat will be really uncomfortable. A couple specs about the 350. This car is estimated at 306 horsepower, but I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that. If you were to dyno tune this, this thing will probably run at around 280 raw horsepower power weighing in at around 4,000 pounds this car is on the lighter side compared to other sport cars such as the Camaro and the Mustang this car's MPG is not the most reliable since this car does require premium gas expect a lot of trips to the gas station when I drive this car pretty recklessly around my city it averages around 16 miles per gallon not the most freest friendly car but that's all right how comfortable is this car as far as the comfort ride, this is the cockpit of the Z. Expect to see this while you're driving. Let me put the hood down so you can see. This is what you'll be rocking with under the hood. It's a 3.5 liter V6 engine. The 2007 and 2008 HRs have a different engine than the previous models. These could rev up a tad bit higher, making them faster than the 2006 models. These cars do have two air intakes, so if you're planning to upgrade them, this could be a pretty expensive mod. This car does only take premium gas, so it could be on the higher side when you're filling up. It's rated at 306 horsepower. Car itself weighs in at around 4,000 pounds. MPG mileage is not the best on this car. Riding in the highway, it is significantly better. You could probably get anywhere to 28 mpg the passenger side of the z can be adjusted two ways a backrest and it could slide forwards and backwards oh i found the tape nice driver's side it has a couple more adjustments you could lift the seat up or lower it as well as the rear as far as the adjusting this here slides back this button is for the backrest this car is nice and tight just how i like them if you're about six feet tall you might be a little bit cramped in this car but it's still drivable make sure you hop in the car before purchasing as i was saying the 2007 and up they redline 1000 rpms higher than the previous versions this car redlines at 7000 500 rpm this car is equipped with all the basic controls got steering wheel volume up down voice control to seek but this thing is broken it does have the autopilot function which is also broken in my car i was trying to wrap this part and the little piece inside of it actually fell off so i would need to purchase some leg room it does have a footrest vents all throughout the car 
storage wise, how well does this car handle storage? You have two cup holders right here. There usually is something that divides it, allowing it to be cup holders. Oh wow, an earring. Car comes with four total cup holders, two here and two on the sides. Automatic mirror adjustments. I think the car has to be on. You are able to sync this to your garage. Oh wow. The other storage is behind the passenger side. This car does not have a lot of storage. If you're the type that carries a lot inside of a car, probably shouldn't be looking at a coupe. This probably goes half my arm length deep. Comes with bags. Oh wow. The passenger seat is extremely comfortable. This car can get somewhat uncomfortable if you drive it more than four hours straight. Not the best commuting car. Door hinges are getting a little bit weak. Hopefully this doesn't fall on my head and decapitate me oh wow as far as trunk space as you can see all my trunk space is occupied by this subwoofer look at it look at it oh not the most trunk space available this is a sport coupe pretty much getting what you're bargaining for this car is completely stock except for the exhaust let's go ahead and take this thing for a spin i gotta pull over We had a little problem with the camera tilting. Luckily, it didn't fall over. Since this car is a two-seater, if you have child support bills you have to pay, don't look into this car. It's only for two. This car handles extremely well. This is a rear-wheel drive car, which can make it pretty dangerous in situations such as snow and rain. There's too many camera problems going on, so I figured this would be a really nice spot to exercise crypto since he is somewhat tripping balls. So let me put the harness on him real quick. We're gonna go ahead and run uphill first. Look at all the cows. Ready? Go. We'll be back 350. Go, boy, crypto, go! So even though the 350 is an amazing starter car, nothing beats the whip of crypto. That's for sure. Go, boy, crypto! We are slightly going uphill. I'm really blessed to live in such a beautiful area. This city just has so much to do, it's insane. Go, run! Where are you going? Go. Oh, he sees a squirrel. Get that squirrel, dog. I didn't bring the chest strap, which is kind of annoying at this point. The GoPro is handheld at the moment, so it seems as if crypto is tired out. Once these cars pass, we're gonna hit the VTEC and go downhill, which is always the most dangerous part. In other words, the most fun. Oh, hopefully he doesn't see that damn squirrel to the right of him. Go slow, go slow. Go slow, oh my God. Come on, let's go. This is probably not gonna help my messed up knee. Watch out, watch out. <sighs> this is insane. My knee is starting to feel slight pain and I had no idea why, oh my gosh, until I took crypto out to go run and I had to stop. If you guys don't know how I stop, I stop with my left foot. And guess what knee was giving me pain? my left knee, just like my ex. I am planning to buy some knee braces, which will somewhat help when I break to stiffen my leg. Oh, he sees the car. Slow down. Oh my gosh. He's about to see cows for the first time. I could tell he senses them. <sighs> oh shit. Oh shit. Get the board, Crypto. Get the board. What is that? <laughs> oh shit. 
the cows are literally staring at us. Hey, hey. <laughs> that cow's taking a big old piss. He could probably take down a baby calf. That's a fact. Look at that white one just mad dogging him. What's up, cow? What do you want? Damn, cow. Shut up. I do believe people are getting out of work. I think that's a sign that we should head out. When Mustangs pass by, yeah. Oh my gosh, you should leave. He's tripping out over the cows, that's for sure. He probably thought he was the only damn species of animals to live. Look at those cows on top of that hill. <laughs> it's so funny. This way, Crypto, this way. <laughs> she literally thinks she could kill him. What a bastard. Hey. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.